Hello, my name is Ed Boyle, a cardiothoracic surgeon and co-inventor of the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology System to prevent chest tube clogging and retain blood for patients recovering after heart and lung surgery. In this segment of our technical tips series, we will discuss the options for the cessation of use of the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology System in the ICU. At a certain point, the clinical team may decide to remove or discontinue use of the Pluriflow system. Often this happens after the first night in the ICU for patients that may need chest tube drainage for a few more days to drain serosanguinous fluid, but not thick, clotty blood. If at any time the team determines they wish to discontinue the use of Pluriflow for any reason, there are three options. Option one is to simply remove the entire chest tube and Pluriflow system all at once, tie down the skin stitch, then dress the chest tube site per your usual protocol. This is most often used when there is no longer a need for any chest tube drainage. Option two is to pull it back. One can simply pull back the Pluriflow clearance loop into the clearance apparatus and park it outside of the chest tube. Then you're left with a simple chest tube for any additional drainage needs. Option three is to remove the Pluriflow clearance apparatus but leave the chest tube in place. Once the clearance loop is removed back to the clearance apparatus and parked outside the chest tube, the clearance apparatus can be removed. The chest tube is then connected to the drainage tubing using standard sterile technique. To perform this maneuver, the chest tube is clamped temporarily while the clearance apparatus is removed. It is then connected with the adapter to the drainage tubing and the clamps are removed. The chest tube is then left in as long as clinically indicated per the IFU. If you have questions, please consult the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology Instructions for Use, contact your local sales representative, or visit clearflow.com.